green news of the day from Planet Save. A new study published in the journal Science has found that we have been underestimating expected global warming uh, due to not including feedback loops in our projections, something climate scientists have known but are working now to document in new studies. Greenpeace continues its activism against oil drilling in the Arctic with a great list of 10 reasons not to drill in the Arctic, a must read. Climate hawks Edward Markey and Henry Waxman have team teamed up with a couple of Republicans in Congress to restart talks about a potential U.S. carbon tax or um, carb cap and trade scheme, something China, South Africa, Australia, South Korea, and many other countries are moving forward with ahead of us. Teenage activists are fighting a Heartland Institute effort to bring global warming denial into high school classrooms with a new petition on the Climate Reality Project. I encourage you to sign it. The climate and water scientist uh, who revealed he was the one who leaked these Heartland Institute documents revealing this campaign and others has stated he will step down from the Pacific Institute which uh, he has led for over 20 years as it investigates his uh, his actions in this in this story a New York State judge has upheld the decision that cities and towns in the state are allowed to ban fracking from certain areas as they see fit Obama, in a speech in Miami on Friday, stated that Americans are not stupid and realize that drill, baby drill, is not an energy strategy that is going to reduce gas prices. We need a much more sophisticated strategy that helps us to evolve and go beyond our addiction to oil. Lego owners have stepped up to the clean energy plate and have put $500 million into an offshore wind energy farm that will provide it with its electricity up through 2020, all of it. Porsche may be coming out with a plug-in hybrid and an electric version of two of its popular cars soon, a plug-in hybrid of the uh, 911 and an electric version of the Boxster. We'll see. There's been a bit of controversy over a bricked Tesla Roadster after one owner left his Roadster for months uncharged and the battery died. Uh, turns out this is something Tesla has warned people about nu uh, in numerous ways uh, in handbooks and, and uh, when purchasing, purchasing the vehicle uh, and is also something that only really threatened the first 500 models. 221 members of Congress, and including 207 Republicans, have attacked and are trying to kill EPA regulations that would address greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. to a degree. Uh, this would be a horrible, um, horrible thing to do, uh, and I don't think it's going to move through Congress, but it just shows you how much Republicans in Congress are opposed to addressing global warming, unfortunately. A new study reveals that about a fourth of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions come from fossil fuels mined and drilled on public lands, not exciting. Researchers at Wake Forest University recently revealed that they're working on a new material power uh, power felt that could generate electricity from waste heat, uh, even waste heat from your own body. Exciting technology. We'll see where it leads. Shea Homes and Solar City have teamed up to, pr to offer uh, zero electricity bill homes uh, in states across the U.S. That is you could buy a home powered by solar with energy efficient appliances and design that would have a zero dollar electricity bill. Nice. It turns out that Mayan civili the ancient Mayan civilization collapse was linked to moderate a moderate or modest reduction in rainfall according to a new study that increases alarm uh, regarding the global warming and climate change effects we're seeing right now. NREL and New Energy Technologies are working on see-through or transparent solar panels that could be in your windows in coming years. Exciting stuff.